Expedition van could go through a lot, but sand dunes? I don't know. Check this out. Yeah, I'm thinking no. <laughs> I don't think so. So we're just going to walk through the sand dune. And it's an amazing part of the geology here around uh, Goose Bay, Happy Valley, there, and other areas of the province, more so into the uh, east. There is a lot of sand, and I'm talking a lot. Race you to the beach! Oh my! <laughs> I can't go that fast. <laughs> Disguised. I think this one. I think this one is two years almost. Last time. Oh, it's swimming. Oh. <laughs> well, soaking wet. I did manage to get uh, our initials on the wet log, but don't don't have a replacement uh, this time. But that one was two years lonely. It was last found. June of 2020. Well, now it's 2022. Cool. Hey, let's go play in the sand. Okay, there should be an earth cache here. I just got to do some research, see what I can come up with. But uh, there is so much sand. And some of the shots you see in our videos, you'll see the sand on the side of the highway. It's just amazing. It's like sand dunes. We just need to add some water. <laughs> and an umbrella, and a beach chair, and hey, Garcon. We gave it a good go, but we couldn't find it. Uh, supposedly, from the hint, it says it's a green bison tube, but it hasn't been found since 2016. So that's a good uh, six years. But it's got uh, an interesting title that said, Yurt Yourself? With a question mark. Meaning, did you hurt yourself when you fell through the ditch? Because it's located in view of an abandoned yurt up on the hill. Let's go take a look. The weather has warmed up somewhat, so that makes the uh, bugs considerably worse to the point where it's maddening if you don't go out with the face covering. be a good place for a geocache there but we can't find this one another DNF but we were told that uh, a lot of the geocaches here are not very well maintained and uh, could be hit and miss so we'll just keep on plugging away because uh, and uh, Churchill Falls is coming up stay with us
once was a uh, raging river, but the hydroelectric program has basically dried up the river. Although there's still some water flowing, but not as much as there used to be. We're looking for three geocaches down the trail, two traditionals and an earth cache. I don't see any magnetic spots here. It's getting close, 29 meters and closing to a geocache. The hint is magnetic. Hasn't been found since 2019 and it looks a little dilapidated. It could be underneath all the wreckage. So we're just going to move on because if you stand around too long, they're on you. Get <laughs> There's still a pretty good waterfall flowing. You can hear it taunting you through the bush. And then you walk a little further away and it dies down quiet. And then you get close again, you can hear it again. It's there and we're getting closer. Wow. Huge. Wow, look at this tree. Wow. Holy doodle. That's amazing. Falls, height 245 feet. In 1891, a traveler put his name on a note and placed it in a bottle at the falls. From that time onward, it became customary for others to record their names in a similar manner. And one of the easiest geocaches we have found so far is called the Bottle Cache. And now we know why it's called the Bottle Cache. It's right behind the rock. We could see it coming down the path. Oh, she got, she got it. it. <laughs> Log book. Best find so far. Yeah, we got a double cache, a traditional and an earth cache. Yeah, awesome. That is so beautiful. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Wow, spectacular. And those shots from Canadrome were brought to you by our patrons who helped us fund the purchase of that mini drone and bring us some fabulous drone footage. Thank you very much for subscribing to Cash Canada. And if you'd like to become a patron of Cash Canada, you could go to patreon.com slash Cash Canada and sign up to many tier levels available and you get sneak peeks into videos also a blog from London Westie and pictures from our adventures as we are doing them before the videos are published and uh, yeah it's all there for you just gotta become a patron In a nice easy one. Walked right up to it, right where the thing said, and we drove within two meters of it. Gotta love that. Doesn't always happen that way. 
and that one was uh, last found in October of 2020 which makes it about a year and a half or more lonely cash and we finally brought it some love One meter. This is one of the oldest geocaches in Wow, really cool. I wasn't too sure about coming to this one, and thank goodness the rain stopped, because it would have been horrible coming to this one now, but so nice to get this old one here because if we didn't everybody else would come and get it and they'd say oh you missed that one 2002 that's pretty good for uh, canada that's awesome and that's been a great day and that one was called planted because it's in a garden plot area that the city's put together to let people grow fresh vegetables there we go. Oh, do I start? Yeah, you start. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on this fantastic adventure through Labrador. Yep, just because we're getting home doesn't mean the adventuring stops. It'll continue and go on. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?